Hi there, welcome back to Dreamscaper. Dan here with No Games for Old Men. This is episode three. Last episode, we managed to defeat fear, and we made our way down into the second level and confronted isolation, but we failed to defeat isolation. Isolation kicked us back into the real world where we did a little bit of meditating and a little bit of daydreaming to develop Cassidy a bit here. And, uh, and now we're going to head back down into the dream world to see if we can defeat isolation. Now the way that this roguelite works is that because you've already, because I have already defeated the first boss, Oop, enchantment shops allow you to upgrade your current equipment in, ex in exchange for sand. Enchantment shops are not guaranteed in every dream. And sometimes will be... I think that said hidden in a secret room. It went away too fast. But you'll remember I had... Gauntlets, I think? At the end of the last, last one. But in this dream now, I've got a baseball bat. So I'm back with the Super Slugger 1. I can also throw snowballs now. <laughs> That's my ranged weapon. I have 0% mastery, so either I've never used thrown a snowball before, or this is a brand new item for me. Uh, my first lucid attack, Astral Blow, is still here, but the second one that I had picked up, the, um, oh man, what was it called? Gale Storm, I think? That is now gone. And as you can see, are my uh, keepsakes. So all of that you lose when you lose in a dream and have to have to come back. So, anyhow. Here we are. Wow. Not doing too great with whoop. What is that? Huh. Maybe snowball? Okay. Still don't have the timing down on those perfect attacks. I do have one bomb, so I'm going to bomb this. And go this way. Okay, Crashing Wave Strikes 3? Whoa. 63 DPS, a companion fires strike... Uh, <laughs> I completely failed to read English right there. A companion fires staggering projectiles backward with each attack, dealing 15 damage. Plus plus 2 critical damage. I don't think I learned any of this in karate class. Uh, okay, well, let's... Let's see, we can swap it. Oh, it does a lot more than the Super Slugger. So yeah, let's do that, and we will recycle the Super Slugger. Okay. I think that's all there is here at the chapel. Still no key in our inventory, so we will have to head south. Ooh, what is this? I think I saw that before. This kind of like shimmery, iridescent wall. Alright, so we will head down, and I guess we'll go to the right. We'll just take this procedurally. There we go. Ah, oh, inspiration. Lovely. Powerful snowballs. Alright, I've got two bombs. Let's pop one there. See if it pops out. A bunch of 
sand. This is a bit slower. I've been swinging... I was hitting, attacking fast, like I still had the baseball bat, but... Seen, let's see, do we want to use this just yet? I haven't lost 20% of my health yet, so I think we'll save it a bit. Uh, I don't think we can purchase anything at the market. Nope. The things I can't afford are too... Oh, wait. Oh, the paddle board. Paddle ball. Oh, I need... 83 more sand. Okay, well, let's head north then. Okay, a spiked bracelet keepsake reduces the parry window, but increases parry's strength. <laughs> 50%. Oh, man. Do I want this? I'm so bad at parry anyway. You know what? Let's try it. If we're absolutely terrible at it, then we can always... I don't know. Can we unequip it? Or once we keep it, we keep it until we fail. Well, I need a key... Oh, actually, we can go down here. Thought I was stuck there for a second. Whoa! Now I'm significantly damaged, so... Okay, well, we'll go ahead and use that one. Idea, Raijin. Time to put on the yellow jumpsuit. These nunchucks infused with electricity have a truly shocking alternative attack. Okay, that's just an idea, though. We can't use it just yet. Ooh, another health potion. Cool. Ooh, and a key. Okay, good. Now we can... We have one bomb left. See if there's anything useful in here. Oh, I should have put it on the other side. So I could destroy this thing with it. That's alright. It's okay. Okay, so I don't need this potion, so I'm gonna leave it there for the moment. Uh, okay, so south is the boss room. When I get to the boss room, I can either skip the boss, because I've already beat it once, or I can fight him again, because you can get... You can get items out of him, so... Ah, okay, so here is the Font of Health, which I'm actually full health, so I don't need it... ...right now, but that's good to know that that's right next to the boss room. So maybe... Well, okay, I picked up a key, so let's... ...head up to here instead, then. See what is through there. And I've got two potions sitting around, so if I do take damage, and the font of health, so I'm really doing pretty good in that respect. This isn't a combat room anyway. Optic Seer 3, ranged weapon, 97 water damage, explodes, dealing additional 15 water damage, and inflicting wet. Pew pew. Swap. That gives me 83 sand. I think I can go back to the market now. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, on the ice. Growing up, I wasn't really big into sports and physical activity. Shocking, I know. 
Ice skating, though? That was something else. No competition, no team relying on you. Just gliding over a placid lake, the bitter wind whipping against your face. Thrilling, yet serene. I loved ice skating. Okay, where to now? We've got some sand to use. So I say we head to the market and we could buy this lucid attack or we could buy the paddle ball. I thought the paddle ball was really useful. I liked the paddle ball. Okay, everything else is too expensive now, so off we go. Now all I have is the boss room. So I'm going to recycle these health potions. Off we go. So I do have access to the Dream Rush, so I can slow time. And I've got to remember to use... I am, in this case, going to fight... See, if... so here... I can pick this up. Or I can touch the green... glowy ball to skip the boss and all, all together and, and immediately drop down to the next level. But I want to fight him, because I want to see... I've got a good idea on how to beat him, so I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna battle him. And I'm gonna slow time so I can get some more hits in him. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Got him down to almost... about 30. Nice! I beat him with a... a deflection. Okay, so now we've got some stuff. We don't need these health potions, so we'll just recycle those right away. Toboggan. Keepsake. Increases health. Oh. Okay, we're gonna pick this up first. Plus 30% max health, plus 10% run speed. Hopefully, it doesn't just extend my health bar, but it actually gives me the ac that actual health. The absolute safest way to send small children hurling down steep hills at high speeds. Okay, good, it did. Alright, so now, I can recycle this. And grab some inspiration, and some inspiration. Another spark. So far, I've picked up two sparks, and the only two sparks I've picked up are from beating a boss. So I wonder if that's the only way to to get them. Probably, huh? Alright, so now we will descend. We get 100%. Oh, what are we missing? Is it the challenge rooms and things that you can unlock by... That must be it. Because when you meditate, or is it daydream, you can unlock challenge rooms for the particular levels. So you probably have to complete those as well to get the full 100%. Okay, so let's... Descend, see if we can defeat Isolation this time. K 
Keep six don't have levels. Instead, their power, usually damage, scales with the floor you're currently on. Whoops, took some damage. Ooh, it took a lot of damage. Whoa, whoa! Okay, hang on, what's... What is going on? Failing miserably. Sheesh. That almost killed me. Well... Bummer. Sure wish I had that font of health here on this level. Oh no! Oh, got me. Oh, nuts. That was very careless gameplay on my part there. Man, single digit percentage on the renewal. I survived one minute and five seconds. That's sad. You now have enough sparks. Travel to Caspici Cafe to unlock the idea. Okay, we actually got stuff we can do everywhere. But we'll go to Caspici Cafe first and we'll sketch using our two sparks. Interact with the sketchbook to use the sparks Cassidy has collected. Okay, while sketching, Cassidy can... I've already read that part. Okay, sure. What are we doing? Alright, so the Raijin. And we could do art supplies. At my happiest when I'm creating art. Double your inspiration? Oh! Interesting. Or the biting dagger. You know, this is a keepsake. I think I want. That. Oh, here we go. Vampire Fangs. This will let me get health from enemies. Wow, there are a lot uh, of ideas here. So, which one do I want? I think I'm going to go with the art supplies because I want to be able to gain inspiration faster so that I can develop Cassidy faster. So that is our two sparks spent. That doesn't mean we get the art supplies right away, it just means we have access to them now. Okay, let's go to the Silk Lounge. Still can't speak with the two folks here. Oh, only got 25. Hmm. Alright, the Font of Lucid in the Departure. I'm gonna unlock the Challenge Room. Ooh, the Puzzle Connection as well. Unlock the Puzzle of Revelation. Uh, okay, let's do Challenge Rooms. First. And now we can meditate. We've got 145 inspiration, so... No, we've only got 50. Resolve? I can't remember which... Uh, let's see. Uh, we want the increase to the perfect attack window length. Only 55 to get the next one. Okay. Well, now that we've done everything we can do, it is now dark. Time to sleep again. We'll see if we can get through... <laughs> that level more than two uh, 
two rooms. That was just embarrassing. Apply different combinations of elemental damage to enemies suffering from elemental status effects to trigger a critical extinguish. Okay, so when I've got one weapon that applies... Well, I don't have any right now. Oh, unarmed. Uh-oh. Or the kunai. Hmm. I don't have any bombs, so I can't get here. That's a hammer and anvil. Is that a workshop or something? now. Water Bloom, 25 water damage, plus 10% to sand collected. Hmm. This doesn't do as much damage as the Kunai, so I'm just going to recycle it. Okay, this must be the challenge room, the one south to us. It's got the two cross swords. I've never seen that before. And I don't have any bombs, so there's no point in going up and to the right. And I don't have a key, so I can't go up and to the left. So this is my only opportunity. Trigger three perfect range attacks on enemies by releasing the white... F Gosh. Okay. Nope. Got one. No, I don't have enough lucid. Come on. Bunch of sand to pick up, I guess. Run around and grab all that while I rebuild my lucid. No, I failed. Rats. Cold Snap 2, Lucid Attack. We'll pick that up. 100% critical chance, Shatter's Frozen. <laughs> Did you see the... The, uh... What do you call it? Italicized text there. Said, let it go. Another bomb. Acrobatic Shoes 2. Uh, no change to speed, but Dodge End triggers Shockwave that deals 26 damage. 10% ability damage, off balanced, duration 20%. Negative 10% ranged lucid consumption. I wish I could do this for real. Oh, so the... The shoes I'm wearing now actually slow me down a little bit. Interesting. 
Alright, let's see what this does. Oh, that's neat. Three keys? Holy Toledo. Okay. This was the spot to be at during the winter when I was in high school. It was closed down for the most part, but it was perfect for a bunch of teens hanging out awake from their prying parents. Tried my first and last cigarette here. Almost passed out after coughing up a lung. Yep, I was pretty cool back then. Perfects in a row there. Nice. Bosses to the south. Don't want them just yet. Uh, what can I buy? Ooh. Health potion medium. Don't need it. Idea. Step through these shadows to put a distance between yourself and your nightmares. It'd be nice to blink away for a while. 300 sand. I've got 662. Yeah, let's buy it. It's an idea. So once you buy the idea, that just stays in your sketchbook until you can... So you actually sketch it, so I think that's a worth worthwhile purchase. You don't lose it like you do other things. Okay, now I've got a key. I also have three bombs, so let's let's go here first and bomb this. Forge modifiers. Destroy a keepsake. What? Why would I want to do that? Upgrade equipment? Um, level up. The fists? Costs sand. <sighs> Why would I want to do that? Good to know that this is here, though. That it's an option. Okay, now... This has something bombable. It's interesting. There's actually three things in this room, so let's run down here and see what, what they all are. So now we've got this. Here is the bomb opportunity. Let's see what get out of it. Oh, a key. Some resolve. Some sand. Glass. Great. Okay, that was a good one. What the other thing is? Um, I'm going to leave the potion there for now until I can see what's beyond this room with the key, because if it's a Unexpected battle that I performed terribly at. At least I have a chance to heal myself. Nope. Boxing gloves, two. There we go. Plus 10% alt damage. 5% attack speed. Alright, so let's definitely swap that, because that does considerably more damage. Okay, yeah, attack speed's a little faster. Mm 
Hmm. I still suck at the perfect, perfect attack timing. Okay, now... Here's our starting room. Now the only, th only place left is the boss room, so I am going to come here and recycle this health potion, because there wasn't any combat in that last room. And... Now we'll go take on Fear one more time. Beat on him a little bit more. Wow, got him about halfway there. That was great. Oh god, I'm just as he was submerging. Whew. Okay. Alright, now what do we have? Resolve. Got our spark. Some glass. Waterbed keepsake. Increases health and boosts water damage. Plus 30% max health. Plus 20% water damage. As a kid, I really wanted one. As an adult, not so much. Same. I really wanted a waterbed as a kid. I thought they would be fun, but I've... I've... Yeah, it, I'm just not interested now. Uh, don't need this, so we'll recycle it. And... Now... Yeah, let's... Let's descend. See how far we can get. Now, in some cases, this could be tedious, having to do the same level over and over again, but because you get faster and faster and faster at it, that one only took me 11 minutes to get through the level that time. So, you, uh, you get, as you get more powerful, you get through the levels faster, but also, I noticed that the enemies were a little more difficult this time. Oh, wow. That was awesome. Uh... Oops. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, can those... I wonder if those towers can't be destroyed? I don't know. Uh, this is where I came from. Only... Oh, wow. You need a bomb and a key to get through here. Well, good thing I have at least one of each. Hopefully it's something good over here. Alright, Torrential Frost 3, Lucid Attack. Well, let's see, which one do I want to replace? Let's do Cold Snap. And we will recycle Cold Snap. Here's a memory. A new appreciation. The first cup I had here was life-changing. Long gone are the days of drinking burned beans. Was I even living before I had a mocha coffee? Oh man, mocha is my favorite. 
Mocha is my personal favorite. I used to get one every day before on my way to work. And that got a little bit expensive, so I stopped, but it certainly is a treat when I... Come on. Whoa, who, who's this? if the color around the threshold means anything. Oh no! Hey, I got one with the bomb! Just punch it. Okay, wonderful. Okay, good. Really need the health potion this time. Some stuff up here to claim. Idea. I don't know how to leave. Cassidy reaches ethereal claws to pull enemies in close. Designed by Capels, inspired by Cassidy's difficulty in saying goodbye. Wow. Alright, so here's the boss. Don't want to go there just yet. Let's see. Let's go up one. We are significantly injured at the moment, so I don't want to take on that boss just yet. Oof. Oh my goodness, that's a fast one. Uh oh. Oh! Whoa! Hey, hey now. Nice. Okay, let's get that sand. God, 
I'm so injured. Like, just touching. Oh! Oof. Touching the red might have killed me there. What is, what's happening? What's happening? What is this thing doing? Is this bad? Or is it just a... Uh... Gosh, I don't know. It pulses something out after it flares. Oh. There's another enemy here. Howard? Oh. Oh. oh! Flew too close to the sun. Alright, well... A decent couple of runs. Got a lot farther into the renewal that time. I think that's... No, it's not as far as I've ever been, because I faced the, the... I got all the way to the boss once, but he whooped me. So, anyhow, uh, I think that'll do it for this episode of Dreamscaper. I will see you next episode. If you join me, I hope you do. Thumbs up, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.